if you are getting closer to the age of 65, then you are probably worried about Social Security, and rightfully so. Well, today I received a few messages from people all asking if they should start collecting benefits early. Well, we're gonna to get to that in today's video because we are talking about potentially increasing benefits or seeing a decrease in by the tune of thousands and thousands of dollars. So I wanna address what's going on here. I wanna address what is currently being said, how new reports are coming out and saying that the American people do not want to wait until age 70. Well, let's get right down to it. First thing you need to understand is that so many people are worried simply because they don't know if Social Security is going to be there. Think about it. Right now, we're being told by so many different you know, agencies that the Social Security Administration might not have the money in the Social Security Trust in order to pay out benefits past the 77 to 78% of the current benefit amount, which means you're not gonna receive everything and that's gonna start as soon as 2033. But look at this. This is why I bring this up because this was just posted today. Look at this. It says just 10% plan to wait until age 70 to claim social security, according to a survey. Why experts say it's best, it's often best to delay. Well, it's simple. If you delay collecting social security benefits, that means you will actually get a little bit more. If you collect benefits very early, then you get much less every single month. In the end, you're getting about the same, but you get it early. That's the problem, okay? But the reason I bring this up is because many people don't know what to do. And I've got a lot of people asking me, should I collect benefits early? Should I wait? What do I do? Well, it's really up to you. The key here is if you collect benefits early, you are going to leave thousands and thousands of dollars per, well, not per month, per year on the table. Okay. Because they have to pay you early. If you wait, that's if you can, then yes, you would get more money per month. Now, the big concern right now is what do we do? Everybody's concerned about Social Security. They're all worried about the old age and survivor's insurance trust, whether or not this is going to have the money in it in order to pay out benefits in the next 10, 15, or even 20 years. That's why people, according to this report, are collecting benefits early. They say that they are concerned that if they wait, then the money will not be there. Guess what? Whether you collect your benefits today and in 10 years the money isn't there, or you wait nine years and the money isn't there in 10 years, your benefit amount is still going to be cut. It will still be cut because that is all that the, the Social Security Administration will be able to dole out. But you're probably wondering, well, can we just increase the amount of money in it? Can't we just tax the American people? Can't we just spend less? Well, here's the thing. Right now, lawmakers are considering so many different options. They're considering cutting benefits in order to keep more money into the program, but by cutting benefits, it makes everybody, well, very unhappy. So that's something that they're likely not going to do. But everybody keeps on asking for additional benefits for more every single month. Well, very soon, we are actually going to see that because in 2024, we have a cost of living adjustment that is going to be uh, implemented. This cost of living adjustment, according to recent reports from the Senior Citizens League, is going to be right about 3%. 3% means we are actually going to see about a $53 increase per month or about $640 per year. Now you're probably thinking a $53 a month, that's not a lot. $640 a year, not a lot of money. So what do I do? Well, look at this. This is actually something that I, I recommended to somebody just today. And I want to recommend it to you as well. Because one of the biggest factors in in uh, people on a fixed income, whether you're on social security or not, doesn't matter, but people on a fixed income, where they normally struggle is 
their income is fixed. It doesn't move. It stays at, let's say, $1,500 per month. Okay. Well, what changes and what fluctuates is normally their expenses. Utility bills are a little bit higher. Food costs a little bit higher. Entertainment, a little bit higher. Gasoline, a little bit higher. So, one of the things that you can do in order to really ensure that you have the money there is something called a budget. Well, look at this. This right here is a very simple tool. Okay, it's called the. It's pretty much cash stuffing. Okay, or the cash budget system. This is what you do. Now, I'll put a link to this down in the description box below, so you can go and get it. You really don't need it, but this will give you all the instructions, all the different tools. The envelopes gives you the the whole budging system like this. Okay, it gives you all this stuff. Now, what you do, and you can see it right here. Okay, all the different envelopes. You can see there's instructions right here. Okay, there's a little uh, 12 month budget sheet. There's a little carrying pouch and the summary for the year. Okay, all this stuff. Now, this is 20 bucks. Okay, I'll put a link to that down in the description box below. But the reason why I like this is because of this right here. Okay, you write down, you can see it. You can write down, okay, this is my budget for food for this month. For this month, I have $300. So you take your $300, you put it into the envelope, and then you only take out, let's say, $50 a week, okay? And that's what you spend on your food. Now, I'll put a link to this down in the description box below, so if you want it, you can go and check it out. But again, you can get your own envelopes, write food, write you know, utilities, write entertainment, write uh, travel, you can write all that stuff on your own envelope, free, right? The only reason why I'm showing you this is because it gives you the instructions, Get it once, 20 bucks, or it's $19.99, I believe. You get it once, and now you know how to do it, okay? But the reason why I recommended to the, this to this person earlier today is actually pretty simple. She was struggling just to save. I asked her, what are her expenses? And she said, well, they're about uh, probably close to $1,300, $1,400 a month. So she should have you know, an extra $100 to $200 per month. Well, she doesn't. She overspends, but she doesn't know where the money goes. This cash system would actually show her where that money is going because it would allow her or not allow her to spend extra because you can't steal from other envelopes. Now, if you're on a fixed income, if you're on social security, try something like this. I, I know it's not gonna be the, the, the fanciest program. I know it's not gonna be something that's gonna put more money into your pocket you know, per se, but should help you spend less, which in essence, puts more money back in your pocket. So, just wanted to fill you in on what's going on because again, right now everyone's saying that oh, we need more money. But at the same time, if we need more money, that usually means we have to collect more money, which means higher taxes. Now, I'm all for paying taxes if the money is going to something that it's actually going to benefit us today, tomorrow, or in the future. But if Congress is just gonna blow through the money, give it to other countries, that's where I'm against paying additional taxes. But let me know your thoughts, okay? Are you okay with paying a little bit more in taxes if the money is going to something worthwhile? For example, Social Security. If you are, go ahead, hit that like button. I'm just curious what everyone's thoughts are, but that is what I know as of right now. As soon as I know more, as soon as there's more bills, more proposals, more information on Social Security, I promise I'll come back on. I will fill you in on all the latest news and updates. Again, thank you guys for watching. Consider subscribing. I'll see you guys on the next one.